this tutorial, you're going to create an animated GIF using pixelart.com. Start by making an account. I already have an account, so I'm going to come down here to sign in. But if you don't have an account, you're going to use your Google sign in to connect with pixelart.com. I'm going to sign in. And then I'm going to click Start Drawing. The site is going to show you some tips that you can use to get started. I'm going to skip that for now. And then you'll have the option of creating a new drawing with a blank canvas. It defaults to 100 pixels high by 100 pixels wide, and that is fine for what we're doing. So I'm going to hit New Drawing and OK. We are going to be making a smiley face. So I'm starting with my circle tool and holding Shift on the keyboard to make an even circle. If it's not centered, you can use the Move tool to position it where you need it. Over here, we have our palettes. I'm going to create a new palette and call it Smiley. A palette is a selection of colors that you use for a project. I'm going to add a new color to the palette, and I want it to be a nice bright yellow for my smiley face. And I'm going to hit Select Color. Now I'm using the Paint Bucket tool over here to fill in the center of the circle. And this will be everything that I have on this layer. Just like Photoshop or Photopea that we've used in the past, Pixel Art has the option to create your art in layers. The layers are like images that are stacked on top of each other. So you can see all layers at once, except where a layer above blocks out the content of a layer underneath. Sorry that that explanation is a little unclear, but I'm going to show you what I mean. So I'm going to come over here to my layers panel and hit the plus sign to add a new layer. I'm going to double click the name of the circle layer and name it circle and double click the layer here and I'm going to name that background. Now I'm going to move the background layer underneath and add a new color to my palette, pick a purple color and use my paint bucket to fill the background. Now I'm going to add another layer. This one is going to be called Face. And I'm going to drag that to the top and use the pencil tool set to black to draw some eyes and a mouth. Once I'm on the pencil tool, I can choose to mirror X. That's going to draw a symmetrical design that's the same on the left and right. I can increase my pixel size from one to two. That's going to help make the line a little thicker and I'm drawing some eyes. I'm gonna make those a little taller actually because I think it will look better. And a mouth. When you're drawing pixel art, try clicking instead of actually drawing and dragging because sometimes when you draw and drag, you don't have as much control. So give it a try. Try both ways, see what works for you. Now that I have my smile and my eyes drawn, if I want to move just one part of that, up or down a little, I can use the select tool to select just the piece that I want to move and move it on its own. Without that, when I use the move tool, the whole layer is going to move. But because it is its own layer, I am not going to move the face or the background. And that's really important when we decide we want to start animating. The last thing we're going to create is a pair of sunglasses on its own layer. So again, I'm going to add layer, call it sunglasses. I'm going to use the line tool to draw the top part of the glasses. And then my pencil tool to draw the outline. And the paint bucket to fill it in. I'm going to erase right there because I don't think that looks too good. And maybe add a little bit more on the sides. And then I'm going to switch to white, turn off mirroring, and add a little highlight on each sunglass lens. To show how it would look with light reflecting off of it. I think that looks pretty good. We are ready to animate our sunglasses. So I'm going to open up the panel at the bottom here that shows my frames. And I'm going to start by copying the frame that I currently am on. And using the Move tool, 
to bring the sunglasses up to the top. Now I'm going to come down here and copy frame again. And I can use the keyboard to click the arrow down three times, copy it again, click it down again, copy, click, 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 copy, click, 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 copy, click, 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 copy, click, click, click. You're probably seeing that this is pretty boring and repetitive. Animation tends to be. So I'm gonna pause the recording, finish this up, and then show you the end result. Okay, so now I have moved the glasses down so that we have the illusion of movement. So let's preview what that looks like. That's what it's gonna look like when it's playing. If you want the movement to be even more smooth, you just would click fewer times between each frame, but then it would just take longer to animate. We can control the speed of it by choosing how many milliseconds each frame displays for it. The default setting is 100, but if I increase that, that frame will display for longer. So for instance, if I wanted to hold on the face at the end, I could increase that from 100 to 200, 300. And I'll show you what that looks like. So now it's sitting for a little longer at the end. I am going to show you one more thing you can add to this before you turn it in, but this is a great time to save our work. So let's hit save drawing, put a title, whatever you want it to be. And then you can decide that other people can edit it. I would leave that on only me. And you can choose whether you want the drawing to be publicly visible, unlisted, or private. I'm going to set it to private so only I can see it. And then I can save it. That's going to let me come back and work on it again when I'm signed on to my account from any computer. Now, if you do want to add a little bit more, let me show you how to put some words on here. What I want my animation to look like is the sunglasses are going to drop down and then the words deal with it are going to flash across the screen. So when I come down here to my animation, I'm going to come to the last frame and copy it. Then on this copy, I'm going to add one more layer above and I'm going to call that deal with it or DWI or whatever. Um, and I'm going to write those words on that layer on that frame. The easiest way to write in pixel art is by using the text tool. I'm going to click the text tool and then click on the canvas. There are font options that you can choose from. I'm going to start with the default. It's not a big deal. And you can change the size as well. I'm going to click here and just type out my words. Now I want you to notice the preview up here shows that it is really small. So if you're showing this at regular size, it's going to look really tiny. So I think I'm going to increase my font size before I continue. I also used the paint bucket tool to darken the smiley face and the background on this frame. So now I have one frame with the sunglasses on the face and one frame with the words over it. I'm going to copy the sunglass frame and click drag it here. Then I'm going to copy this frame and drag it here. And I'm going to repeat that a couple more times. See what it looks like all together. I am pretty satisfied with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my drawing again. Update. And it is creating the animation. It takes a second. And in addition to saving that to my gallery, that will automatically also download it as a GIF. Remember, a GIF is a file format that is used for short, low resolution animations. Um, for videos, short videos, and that's what we are going to upload into Echo for this assignment. So I'm going to hit save file and OK. I hope you have fun with this assignment. And as always, if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask me.